What's up everybody? I am back with another story time and this one is kind of intense. It's pretty good if you ask me. This is like one of those things that happens and you like don't tell your parents about until it's like years later so that they can't be mad anymore. But at the time it was something that definitely would have gotten me in a fuck ton of trouble and I probably would have never been allowed to see my boyfriend ever again. This is the story of the first time I ever smoked weed lol and disclaimer before people in the comments want to pop off on me like the jackasses some people are i would just like to say that i do not condone smoking but do i care if you do it no especially in college if you are in college i promise you that you have been offered weed or you will be offered it before you graduate and if you are going into college i can give you that same guarantee and there's also drinking in this story and this story took place when i was like 16 or 17 probably more likely 17 years old obviously that is a few years before the legal drinking limit also not condoning underage drinking but people do shit when they're young and stupid and people do shit when they're in college so to each their own i don't give a fuck what you do so you shouldn't give a fuck what i do this is just a really fucking interesting story so let's go Okay, so 16 or 17, probably 17, like I said, I was visiting my long distance boyfriend who is my crazy cheating coked out ex. I have a video on him and our crazy relationship slash breakup somewhere in my video feed. Go check it out if you give a fuck. We were dating and this was in like the peak of our relationship, right? Like the super honeymoon, like we're in love as fuck stage, like nothing could go wrong. Like we have so much love and trust for each other. And my boyfriend was already in college because he was two years older than me and I was still in high school and I had never smoked before and I had either never drank before or if I had it had been like one or two drinks at some parties with him at his college like one or two times max. So I was completely new to drinking and was super ignorant to smoking and weed and anything like that. I was visiting him and one night we went to his friend's apartment to hang out with some of his friends who were all in the same fraternity and I was very very close with a handful of his pledge brothers and to this day I'm actually still best friends with some of them and I consider them like family so I always say if anything good came out of that shitty as fuck relationship it's that I now have amazing guy friends and I'm sure it chaps the fuck out of his ass that I'm still great friends with his fucking brothers but I mean... <laughs> What you gonna do about it? We weren't gonna go out that night. It was either a Friday or Saturday night, but I knew that no one wanted to go out. So we had kind of plans like, oh, we'll just all go to this one guy's apartment and we'll all just like drink together, like play video games, watch a movie, talk, like cook dinner, just like fucking chill and maybe get a little faded. And so I was like, okay, like I'll drink a little bit because I was not accustomed to drinking. And in high school, I wouldn't say I was anti-drinking, but I definitely was not a party girl. I didn't give a fuck. I didn't really have any interest in being drunk. Like I was kind of a super nerd, LOL. So we go and my boyfriend offers me a drink and he makes me something really girly, something he'll know I like, like vodka and lemonade or something. And they're all fucking like drinking whiskey, like taking pulls, like they're all for sure already smoking and every time that I would go to visit all of them would always ask me like Brighton are you sure you don't want to try like come on like take a hit like smoke a little weed and I was always like no I cannot smoke weed like I will not do drugs like no 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 which <laughs> ironic now because now I don't give a fuck about shit like that but at the time I was like no I cannot do it I did not want to do it and this night like any other night they were like we're all hanging out we're drinking a little bit like you're loosening up like why don't you smoke little and I was very adamant like no I do not want to smoke all of you guys know that I don't want to smoke like stop fucking asking me it's not gonna happen I don't give a fuck if you guys smoke I just don't want to smoke I'm good with my vodka lemonade the night goes on, we're drinking more and more. I swear I probably do not have more than like two solo cups of vodka lemonade, but at the time when I had like basically never drank anything before, two cups of like a pretty strong mixed drink is definitely enough to make you feel a little something. I definitely wasn't drunk, but I was definitely tipsy. I had been drinking for like literally this entire period. I was definitely tipsy and for someone who had never really even been that tipsy or drunk like even just being regular tipsy was like whoa like what is this feeling this is new to me you know I was 17 I don't know I didn't start partying at 14 like a lot of kids do like I was a little baby okay 
All of his friends and my boyfriend can tell that I obviously am starting to feel a little sum sum in my brain. And they're kind of like, oh, like, are you feeling good? Like, how you feeling? Like, kind of like fucking with me because I knew I never drank. And I they could definitely tell that I was not sober anymore. This is when one of the brothers was like, come on, like, you're not even sober. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, take a hit of the weed. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, obviously, it's very important to them that I try smoking weed. I'm kind of tipsy, so I'm losing inhibitions. I don't give a fuck. I will take one hit. And I did not know how to smoke. I did not know what to do. I did not know how a bong works. Like, I was clueless. Like, I did not know anything. One of the brothers who to this day is still one of my best friends, I call him my brother, and I always give him a hard time for this fucking moment, he pulls me into his bedroom and he has this insane bong. Like, this bong probably cost like $300 to $500. Like, it was like a two to three foot tall bong with like these engravings all over it, like nice as fuck. And RIP to that bong, because that bong is now broken and gone. But at the time, it was probably like the sickest bong I've ever seen. Maybe still to this day ever. Like, it was insane. So they were like, okay, all you have to do is put your mouth on the top, and we're going to light it. And when we tell you to suck in, you just suck in and inhale, but don't exhale the smoke until we tell you to. Which, obviously, they were fucking with me, but if I didn't know anything, I don't know that, right? So I take this hit, which... Now, having smoked and knowing things about smoking and weed, the hit they gave me was fucking insane. Like, so big. Like, ten times bigger what you should give to someone that has never smoked before. It was big for even someone who smokes all the time. Like, it was a massive fucking rip. And I fucking inhale this, and they're telling me, don't exhale until we say, don't exhale until we say. And I'm holding this in my lungs, and then I can't hold it anymore. Like, like I've never smoked before. I can't hold this massive rip. I start coughing profusely, coughing it out of me, eyes crying, like, whatever. They're all laughing. They think it's funny as fuck. My boyfriend's like, way to go, babe. Like, you did it. Like, see, it's not that bad. I run to the bathroom. I put my head, like, under the faucet to, like, put water in my mouth because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm burning in my chest. My throat burns. Like, I need to drink water. Like, I need this out of my system. Like, it just was not a pleasant feeling. But I didn't feel high yet because I just done it, right? And so I'm laying there with the faucet in my mouth over the sink, like drowning out the shit from my fucking mouth, like this awful taste of smoke. And then after like two minutes of doing this, it just motherfucking hits me like a fucking train. Holy fuck, I don't even know how to describe the feeling. I just felt my body shutting down. And now that I'm in college and now that I have smoked more and become more educated on that stuff, I can still say to this day that I've never ever smoked and had this experience. So for this to happen on my first time, it's fucking horrifying. I was freaking the fuck out. Like I didn't know what was happening. My body was shutting down. I could feel things like blacking out. Like I was, my vision was going and I knew that I had not drank enough for this to be from the alcohol. I couldn't make coherent like words or sentences anymore. Like I was trying to speak and I was probably like blubbering. I'm sure I looked like I was dying and I thought I was dying. I genuinely, genuinely thought I was dying. I've never felt this way in my life. I could not move. I could not move my limbs. I could not walk. Holy mother of God. Like the worst thing I've ever experienced. I go sit down on the couch and my boyfriend's like, are you okay? Because I'm like, obviously not really talking and I can't move and whatever. And I have a heart condition. I have two holes in my heart and I'm in my head like, holy fuck. Like, this is going to fuck up my heart. Like, I'm actually going to die. Like, I did this drug I've never done before. And my heart race was literally more than through the roof. Like, when I say that my heart was beating probably upwards of like 10 times a second. I am not exaggerating. And I remember that those were the only words I could get out of my mouth. I was sitting on this couch, right? Literally like this, like, like fucking RIP, okay? And I remember the only words I could get out was like, heart like racing like my heart like kept putting my hand on my chest, like trying to get someone to catch on to the fact that my, I was trying to say that my heart was beating really fucking fast. And one of my boyfriend's brothers, another guy that I'm really good friends with still, is a pre-med guy, so he knows shit, and he was like, I'll check her pulse, it's fine, like, like she's probably just high, but I'll check her pulse to see if she's, like, just saying shit or if her heart's actually racing. So he checks my pulse, and I'm just laying there, like, in a fucking coma, like, this is it for me, RIP, I'm dying, and I'm kind of like, what the fuck? So then I tell my boyfriend, I'm like, please take me to the hospital, and he's like, we aren't going to the hospital, you're just high, you're overreacting, and I was like, I have a heart condition, 
I literally was like speaking like this. Like I could not fucking say anything. Like I was freaking the fuck out. And I was just like, please take me to the hospital. Please take me to the hospital. It was all I could say. And they were all standing there like, oh shit, what the fuck have we done? This isn't funny anymore. Like she literally looks like she is like half passed out. Like she can't talk. What the fuck? I beg my boyfriend to take me to the hospital and everyone's trying to be like, you're just high, we'll get you water. But I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm geeking out. So then the pre-med guy is like, dude, maybe you should actually take her to the hospital. Like the last thing we need is like our fraternity having like a death on our hands, right? So my boyfriend's like, okay, I guess we'll go to the hospital. My boyfriend puts me in this car and I do not remember this car ride. Like I was blacked out in the sense that like everything was black like my eyes were open but all i could see was black and like i knew that i was in a car and that i was driving to the hospital but i like couldn't see anything like i was freaking the fuck out okay and i couldn't breathe and i had to lean the car seat back so i was like laying and i just was trying to concentrate on my breathing and we get to the hospital and we're just sitting in the parking lot and I'm like, I can't walk. I can't move. Like, can you please go get me a wheelchair and wheel me inside? And my boyfriend is like, babe, I can't do this. Like, I cannot fucking take you inside there. Like, they're going to call your parents because you're a minor. And then they are never going to let you visit me again because we were long distance. I was visiting him in Florida from Texas. And I was like, yeah, well, if I die, you're never going to see me again either. So please and i remembered my cousin is six years older than me she definitely used to smoke and probably do even crazier shit than just smoking in college so i wanted to call her to ask if this was like a normal reaction and i was so fucking stupid in this moment that i couldn't even like register that obviously her number was saved in my contacts like i just didn't go to her name and call her like i was just on my phone on the like keypad trying to like remember her number from memory and i was freaking the fuck out because i've had her number memorized for literally years and in this moment and I was so fucked up and my eyes were all blacked out and I couldn't even see my phone screen and I was like I can't call her I don't know what to do and after like five minutes of me freaking out about not being able to call her with my boyfriend not even fucking helping me to call her I finally remember her number and I call her and I'm just like Leslie I'm freaking out like I told her what happened but obviously I was speaking like a literal fucking invalid like I was talking like this like I literally thought I was dying and she was like I promise you're fine like no one has ever ever died from smoking weed before like you're just freaking out because you're too high and you've never been high before and your body doesn't know how to react to it yada 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 and that made me feel a little bit better than my cousin who was like my big sister who has known me my entire life that I trusted so much was telling me like you're not gonna die like it's all in your head you're just geeking out because you did fucking drugs but I still literally thought I was going to die. So I hung up on my cousin begging my boyfriend, please go get me a wheelchair. And my boyfriend literally just goes, fuck this. I can't do this. I'm not risking this. We're going back to the apartment. It just whips the car out of the hospital parking lot and takes me back to the apartment. Like, doesn't give a fuck. Like, seriously? Like, looking back now, like, what the fuck? Like, what if I had died? Like, what if my heart was about to burst? Like, who the fuck knows? And, like, you aren't even gonna listen to me like the girl you're in love with saying that I literally feel like I'm dying like you just don't want to be in trouble so you don't want to take me into the hospital like what the fuck is wrong with you so he takes me back to the apartment and they like brothers come to help me out of the car because when I say I can't walk I mean I cannot walk like my limbs cannot fucking move like the scariest thing that's ever happened to me ever in my entire life and so they pull me out of the car and take me in and sit me on the couch and like get me a glass of water and they're like look like it's fine like you're back home like here's some water like you'll be great like you just need to sleep it off whatever and I was like you guys like you don't understand like I was literally just geeking the fuck out like just imagine your head a girl who literally can't move like motherfucking paralyzed who can barely speak who can barely make audible words who literally can't see anything like i know what's happening but everything is just black i literally kid you not i think i thought this was the moment i was gonna die i've never in my life so firmly believed that i was going to die like my body has never had a reaction like this to anything in my life i literally thought this was it i thought the second i passed out i would not wake up in the morning after sitting on the couch and them just trying to reassure me everything was fine, I could feel myself like, like dozing off, like trying to go to sleep, like probably because my body was shutting the fuck down. And so my boyfriend was like, let me take you into a bedroom. Like we weren't even at my boyfriend's house. We were at this other kid's apartment. Like remember? So he takes me to this like random kid's bedroom and lays me on the bed. And 
I'm just laying there. I can't see shit because I'm like blacking the fuck out. I can't feel my entire body. I just feel like I'm on a cloud that is about to take me to motherfucking hell and I'm never gonna live again and this is it. And I wasn't even in Texas and I was so far away from my parents and I was like, to your Lord, like, please let this be my last day. Like, I need to say bye to my mom and your daddy, but like, I'm not even exaggerating. I really thought I was gonna die. I don't know if this is like an accurate memory or if maybe this was a dream or if this is just wrong because I was ridiculously fucked up in this moment. But as I was laying there about to pass the fuck out, I could hear all the guys laughing in the next room. And I swear to this day, I heard one of the guys be like, dude, like, tell us the way you fuck in bed. Like, how do you fuck her? Like, what's your favorite way to fuck her? Like, just asking, like, weird sexual questions about me while I'm in the next room literally dying. And then my boyfriend is, like, laughing along with them. And my boyfriend just goes, like, yeah, like, we really like to do it doggy or something. Like, something so sexual and gross and personal. And I just remember in my head being, like, if this conversation is real and what I'm hearing is real and not in my head, like, what the fuck? My boyfriend is such a piece of shit. Like, first, you're not going to take me to the hospital, even though I think I'm dying. And two, now when I'm laying in the room about to die, like, you're not even laying with me. You're not checking on me. You're just in another room still drinking and smoking with your buddies. Now I'm making rude comments about, like, how me and you fuck. Like, what the actual shit? And that was, like, the last thing I remember. And then I passed the fuck out. And I guess we went back to my boyfriend's apartment. Or we Ubered. Or I don't know what the fuck. Because the next thing I know is I'm waking up with my boyfriend. Like, at my boyfriend's place. And the first thing I'm thinking is, holy shit, I'm alive. Like, that's all. I was so happy. Like, I am fucking alive. But also, I still felt so fucked up. And, like... I don't mean like, oh, I felt hungover because now I've been hungover enough times to know what that feels like. And I don't mean like, oh, I woke up still kind of high because like, you know, like I'm in college now. Like I think I would know the feeling I felt, like know if it was normal. Still to this day, the feeling I had waking up is also a feeling I've never ever had while partying, drinking, whatever in college. Whatever was put into my system the night before, like I don't know if it was really potent weed or if it was just way too much weed for someone's first time smoking. I don't know if it was with the combination of alcohol. I really don't know what it is now being a college student. Like I would feel like I would know like, oh, that was just because I was high or that was just because I was drunk. But like I've never experienced this ever to this day and I literally thought I was going to die and fuck that boyfriend. And to make it even worse for the whole rest of that trip, because I lived, all his brothers and friends thought it was just so funny. Like, oh, she took her first trip and she couldn't even take it. Like, she wanted to go to the hospital. Like, what a pussy. So, for the whole rest of the trip, they just, like, fucked with me and, like, made fun of me. And, like, I kind of just went along with it because, like, I've always been considered, like, a bro. Like, I can dish shit out. I can take shit. But, like, I, honest to God, like, thought I was going to die. And they just, like, none of them grasped, like, the severity of the situation at all. Like, none of them gave a fuck and like fuck you to that boyfriend like fuck some of his friends fuck all those people like you're all fucking assholes i've never been so scared in my entire life i have a fucking heart condition you just don't give a fuck like holy shit so i guess moral of this story if you have not smoked before or done any drug before or even drank before anything if you're putting something into your body that is foreign to you and to your body and to your brain please Please be smart about it because I just went in like being someone that never drank to just drinking two whole fucking drinks and then being someone that never smoked and taking probably the biggest bong rip of my entire life from the biggest bong I've ever seen in my life all in one night at only 17 years old like not knowing shit and I can only tell you that it was the scariest thing ever and I don't know what was happening in my body. For all I know, I was close to dying or I was close to something bad, you know? Like, I don't know because I didn't actually go inside the hospital. We just sat in the fucking parking lot while my boyfriend was a fucking pussy. So be safe out there, kids. I don't recommend that. I was just terrified. I was like, if this is going to be the result of smoking weed, which is supposed to be so chill and fun, fuck that shit. So just be safe. Hope this was interesting. It's not that funny, but it's fucking crazy. So, bye everyone.